I'm a guy that's 24. Each day I build some more. I like episode 7 and episode 8. I'm Rich Boy J. Hello boyos, Rich Boy J here back in with another video and this is another episode of the LEGO Star Wars Mock Showcase. This is a series I've created to highlight some of the best mocks I've come across on the internet. So if you find any of these impressive, go to the description. The links are there. Go support the builders. They deserve it. The first mock we're going to take a look at today is by Fuku Saku, and it is a amazing mini scale Republic fleet. This is a little bit different than what I typically show off here on the mock showcase. I typically try to stay with mini fig scale mocks or something in that realm, but this was just too awesome to pass up. There are just so many cool building techniques and details in all of these vehicles. We can start with the ARC 170. And the thing that honestly stuck out to me about this was the use of that one by one piece in trans black with the tooth coming out of it as the cockpit or the, the base the two cockpit areas on the front half of the ship and it honestly surprised me because I had no idea that piece even existed in that color but that is literally the perfect solution for the cockpit on the ARC-170 up front. Moving over to the gunships you can see it actually has two versions of it the one to the left looks like the doors are closed and one on the right has the doors open with the bubble turrets coming out of the side both look very cool. Those white flag pieces clipped on to the one by two grill tiles actually work perfectly for the backside of the gunship. Over to the far right, we have a Republic dropship. And this is probably one of my favorite parts of this build at entirety because there's a just amazing looking like mini scaled Republic dropship build. But the fact that there's a nicely detailed ATTE connected to it, I think it's pretty sweet. And you can actually see like there are connection points to both of these vehicles and it looks like you could pretty easily like disconnect the Republic dropship if you felt so inclined to do it so for something so small to actually maintain some sort of playability with it I think is pretty fun and then of course we have the giant Republic frigate well I say giant I mean, it's pretty small in the grand scheme of things but compared to everything else here it's a pretty big vehicle and I think this thing looks awesome I really do love that he's maintained consistently a um, studless surface for a lot of these vehicles he's just using a lot of cool snap techniques i swear those sandwich tiles are so useful especially for something like this the uh, two by two light bluish gray sandwich tiles work really well to make a nice smooth looking surface for this ship i swear i see those uh light bluish gray lever pieces and i'm just like oh man how does he have so many of those and i forget that those are actually in the current star destroyer that are on shelves right now so you can actually pick those up for pretty decent prices on bricks and pieces right now i think he's just generally nailed the shape of the republic frigate like it really does look exactly as it should this build really inspires me because if you guys don't know there's a, a builder by the name of brick productions on youtube right now who's doing basically a coruscant imperial shipyard mock which is essentially an imperial version of a shipyard that we see in star wars episode uh, three but if anyone felt inclined to do you know like a, a republic version of that mock I think these ships would be a perfect way to populate it. I think these mini designs would be a perfect inclusion to something like that. Obviously, you'd still need to come up with a larger scale Venator, but these just really inspire me to perhaps do something like that down the line. Like, I don't usually do mocks at this scale, but these vehicles are just so beautiful that I might feel inclined to perhaps do something like that at some point. Keeping up with the Republic theme, we have a Republic hangar build by Lego Lux 1973. I just first want to say that I love the idea of this build. I wish we saw more things like this, even in the prequel films, just like some sort of hangar for the Republic with like the Jedi's vehicles in them. Like we see a bit of a Republic hangar with, I guess, gunships when Mace Windu and Anakin are idly walking by deciding what to do about the freaking emperor but i really do like the setup of this scene you can see up front we actually have a meeting of a bunch of jedi we got anakin ahsoka kit fisto i do want to give him major props for actually using the movie style clones in this mock i think that makes it look so much better than it would otherwise look i also am a fan of these custom jedi starfighter i'm sorry jedi interceptor builds he has in here i think that the studless surface makes it look just so nice and clean and the variety of colors is also really nice this wouldn't be a mock showcase video if i didn't talk about the wall detail because i know you guys love seeing wall details talked about in these videos 
videos. A few things that I picked up on that look pretty cool are those ladder pieces that are used at a slant surrounded by the two slopes. I also love the combination of those one by two lattice slopes as well as the grill tiles at the bottom of the wall to create a much bigger looking grill. There's a lot of activity in this mock that I really like. There's just so much going on. There's like Jedi's all over the place. There's clones all over the place. There's cargo crates, astro droids. We can have uh, C-3PO up at the top kind of overlooking everything. This is just a very lively looking build. Even over to the left side, it looks like there's a clone trooper causing some trouble, spray painting a wall yellow, and he's getting yelled at by one of the Republic officers, I imagine. We even have what seems like a wet floor sign. I would imagine it's probably not a wet floor sign, but I'm just gonna assume it is a wet floor sign because that's actually kind of funny. Overall, this is just a nice looking build used to show off some nice looking Jedi interceptors. I am in love with this next build by Jan T because it is exactly something that I would do. It's basically a recreation of Mos Eisley from the Lego Star Wars 2 video game where you're using Han Solo and Chewbacca to track down Garen Dan, the uh, Imperial snitch as I like to call him. And he's even included the little, I guess, like feature of the game where you need to push the engine along the checkerboard path and basically like pull it up alongside a door, shoot the engine, the engine blows up, door blows up you can progress to the level and i like that he's just incorporated amazing build techniques with it to actually make this look like a really good looking mock the first thing i gotta point out is i love the solution he's come up with for garen dan i feel like i've seen this a few times and it looks really nice there's honestly no telling when lego will release a figure for them but there's honestly no telling when we'll get an actual minifig for this guy, but I think this actually works out pretty well. It's basically a black hood piece kind of flipped around on the head, and then they use a cone and the binocular pieces to represent his eyes, and it looks pretty good. I love that he's also got his little walkie-talkie. I also love the texture he's given to the walls of this building. It's very easy to go overboard with this to try to incorporate what can be viewed as too much detail, but I feel it's the perfect balance here. Like there's some dark tan elements mixed in. There's even like the one by two plate with the curved edges to give a little bit of like cracks and, and detail into the side of the wall. There's masonry bricks, there's profile bricks, there's all sorts of little things that actually make this look pretty impressive. One of the things you might not notice right off the bat is it looks like a lot of this is actually built upside down just looking at those arches those arches are actually upside down and then you can see even the one by one brick with the stud on the side right next to it gives away that a lot of this assembly is actually done reversed which is always cool and i love it when builders like find solutions to things like this that might require them to build a, a large portion of an assembly upside down i actually went through a lot of this when designing my hoth build one of the other cool things about this build is there are actually studs on the ground. You can see he has those one by one headlight brick. You can see he has those one by one headlight bricks and clear with some gold and silver studs around. And I also quite like the design he's come up with for the light fixture using the ice cream cone piece, the uh, mini fig head and trans clear, and then that dark tan two by two dish up top. Final thing I wanted to talk about is at the very top of this building, there are some like crates laying around along with some flower pieces, which I feel are just very reflective of the Tatooine level. There's tons of stuff like that laying around, like barrels, crates, all sorts of stuff along the streets of Mos Eisley. So this is just... This really just captures the essence of that level, especially with one of the game features built into the build, but it doesn't look like a video game mock. It still very much so looks like a nicely detailed build. So he maintains a really nice balance between what can be considered an Easter egg and what is just a nicely detailed mock. I guess one thing, I guess one last thing I also have to mention is the door. I really like that door design. It's a good door design. Our final build is by Stahl and it is just incredible beyond words. It is a render, but it was just one of those builds that were way too good to pass up. And it is a pretty large scale UCS-esque Trade Federation Luker Hulk 
and there are so many incredible details and building techniques in this thing. So let's just go ahead and dive right in. I love this shot because it gives you a good look at how a lot of the angles on the surface come together. So it's honestly just so impressive because there's obviously like some complex angles just from the nature of the ship. You know, it's kind of like a big donut, which already might cause a lot of problems for some builders, but there's also the dark blue designs and accents on the surface of the build that you have to take into consideration and I feel like he just implements them pretty flawlessly into the surface of the build. You can see there's just a pretty ingenious usage of wedge plates to get a lot of the designs that are trademark for a ship like this and he does a pretty incredible job at it. He also does an incredible job at the grebling. You can see the outside of the ship has just a bunch of grebling along the side kind of sandwiched between the two like body panels and then the inside of the ship has uh, grebling as well but it's also has a bunch of windows and trans blue so i think that also looks pretty nice i really appreciate the inclusion of the hangar you can see over to the left side of the photo there's an opening and that's of course where we would see a lot of the nabu starfighters entering the ship to try to blow it up there's even these little i mean i don't know what the function of them in canon are but these little like claw builds on the outside that also look pretty sweet i think the satellite assemblies on the surface of the ship also look pretty incredible and they're even duplicated on the underside of the build speaking of the underside of the build who's a better shot of it and and you can see that a lot of the details and shapes that were on the top of this are also transferred to the bottom of it and you can see that a lot of the details on the top of the ship were actually transferred to the bottom of it which just looks so incredible like if lego were to make a set like this i would really want for it to like come on some sort of stand where it would sit elevated so you can really get an appreciation for the bottom and the top of this build because there are so many nice details on either side i think you also have to give him a ton of credit for the sphere build in the middle of this spheres are obviously difficult to build and lego and this one looks really nice it actually is mostly snot which i can appreciate like it looks smooth to the surface but it also just looks like a really nice lego sphere i don't know how to describe it other than that our next shot is of the back of the build and you can see we get a really nice look at the engines i think the builds for those also look really nice i love the use of those end got pieces that go just basically around the engine kind of between the two dark gray sections i think that looks really good i feel like everywhere you look on this build there's just so much detail like you can tell he probably took a lot of time just looking at whatever reference photos he could find of a luger hulk to make sure that every inch of this thing had every little greeble that it needed to be as detailed as possible there's also these little towers on the back side that are um, around the satellite build as well that look pretty cool and one thing i didn't even notice until now are the satellites that are on that spherical build in the middle of the ship Man, the Trade Federation sure like their satellites for whatever reason. Overall, I think this is just a gorgeous build. It's not often you see large scale Trade Federation ships done with this amount of detail, but I think he really knocked it out of the park. I mean, there's other Luker Hulk builds out there, but I think it's pretty safe to say that this is the best one. And it's at least the best one that I've seen. I think all the shapes are incredible. I think all the shapes and angles are incredible. I think the detail is just next level. Like there's some incredible detail detail all throughout this build and it just looks nice it's a very refreshing build to see like i said earlier we just don't see a ton of builds like this i think the only thing that could make this better were maybe some mini builds of napu starfighters and vulture droids fighting along the surface